You fell into our trap. Hey guys, it's Cypress. And Phil Harbor. And we are going to be watching... The Pokemon Direct from today, yeah. the 27th of February, 2022. Ooh, so exciting. Yeah. It was announced pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, they're doing it on a Sunday morning? The, like, yeah, I was like, what? Weird, so you know, because I usually me. have to watch them at work, but I wasn't at work today, so... <laughs> anyway, so... I won't say that I've had anything necessarily spoiled, but like just I knew the it was starters. coming. Yeah, yeah. but my Facebook and all these other yeah, fancy things are blowing up. Yes, so we're gonna watch it and react to it. So I've heard there's a few different things. So obviously there's the the big news about Gen Nine. Yeah, which is so fast. Uh, but I know I, there's it feels things. rushed, but maybe I don't know. Well, because Arceus I just came out, but I don't know when this is coming out. It's, it's oh, still in true. development. It might, okay. Probably it's 2023. Yeah, yeah maybe like. February or March, you know, so another year. That's true. Um, I don't know. That part I don't know. <laughs> so we're going to watch it and we will have our reactions. Yes. So one moment while I pull it up. Okay. And now we're ready. We're watching this on the official Pokemon uh, YouTube channel. I don't know what they call it, but okay. That's <laughs> Cute. It kind of reminds me of Sesame Street, but. Hello, yeah. everyone. Hello. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. Today, February 27th is the date the Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green games were released in Japan, marking the beginning of the Pokemon series. We've now reached our 26th year since the birth of Pokemon, oh, okay. thanks to the support of Maybe all that's why they did it on the around the world. Because we're entering the 27th year? That makes sense. Thank you, each and every one of you. You're welcome. Today, we would like to present the latest updates on a number of games, so I hope you'll watch to the very Talk to end. really slow. Mr. Utsunomiya, please take it away. <laughs> His English is impeccable, though. <laughs> Fuzzy. Hello. Whoa, nice I'm jacket. Takato Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. Thanks. Allow me to jump straight into sharing the latest updates with you all. He looks First like he's cosplaying someone much older Pokemon than him. Go. <laughs> I like his hair, though. Yeah. Salt. Oh. It's beautifully graphics. And this is real Earth. It is. This is Pokemon Go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, yeah, but I was like, yeah, oh, but... Bring Rowlet to... Uh, or Gen 8 to... Uh... Oh, okay. Oh, I mean, 7. Not... Oh, that was really fast. Thanks. The first appeared in the Alola region of the Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon games will be appearing in the world of Pokemon Go beginning March 1st. Nice. I mean, Just I... a few days from now. I dabble. Alolan Executor will be appearing oh, in yeah, Pokemon Go. Oh, yeah, I've been catching them today. We hope you'll try so catching them for yourself. I have been. Thank you. Now, I'd like to share some news about a few of our other games. Okay, good, because that's not what we were here for. No offense. Oh. oh. Are you going to come out with another one? Wait, no, that's the show, right? This February, Pokemon Masters EX celebrates its two and a half year anniversary. Right now, as far as trainers go, there are... Over 142 in total that you can team up with. Powerful sync pairs from many regions have assembled on Victory yeah, Road, okay. our newest feature. By completing Victory Road, not only can oh, you team up with Sigma that, Suit um, Red, Sigma Suit Blue, or Sigma Suit Elite. That would make sense. I have also seen some things with gems. they're trying to connect Arceus with like, like tomorrow, the, May and the ancestors. Arrive, with May in a special outfit. This sync pair can turn the field of play into psychic terrain, powering up all psychic type sync pairs. <laughs> yeah, Skyla no, and Tornadus also debut with Skyla in a special maybe outfit. Maybe for... This sync pair can turn the field of play into a flying zone. They're skilled at supporting flying types and using interference against opponents. And there's more. You'll Is also be seeing Raihan and Flygon with Raihan in a special outfit. With moves like Sandstorm and Max Flare, they can create several weather conditions. I like conditions. that outfit around him. Yeah. To celebrate the two and a half year yeah, they anniversary look really cool. of Pokemon yeah. Masters yeah, EX, sure. players now have the chance to scout up to 100 sync pairs at no cost. But that's not all. If you log into the game after this presentation ends, you can receive a present of 3,000 gems as our latest Until campaign March 27th. begins. We have a variety yeah, we're gonna of other try content it. lined the time, up as well. I guess. I'll look now into it, see what, it, what it's Pokemon like. Masters I don't know. It's weird. Don't miss out. I honestly had never heard it's of like it before. It's one of those RPG it's been out for two like you pick the... 
This one I couldn't play. There's a game like that Pokemon, on one of my other Cafe apps Remix, where you like pop the, the puzzle game off. where you mix oh. and match alongside Not Pokemon. Introducing deliveries, a so new way cute. to play. Yeah, I love the deliver drinks and dishes to Pokemon far away and spread word of your cafe. Yeah, the animation is so adorable. Mm -hmm. You'll have the chance to meet Pokemon. I played another one. It was like a Cafe matching Remix. game. But gather new special no cares about that one. Yeah. <laughs> and unlock hidden specialty gimmicks that give you an edge in puzzles. The mythical Pokemon Victini appears for the first time in Pokemon Cafe Remix during your deliveries. Its powerful skill will be very helpful in the new puzzle mode coming early 2022. Deliver drinks and dishes to Victini to have it join your staff. <laughs> Teach you a little bit weird there, there will but be three events yeah. to celebrate Everyone else Pokemon looks adorable. Day. Oh, I like First Bulbasaur gets is Bulbasaur's okay. happy Pokemon day. There will be a seven day special login bonus. And on your first login, you can get Bulbasaur's limited time celebratory crown outfit. For the second like event, the there is an Style. increased like the chance of Pokemon. shiny yeah. Piplup appearing. Starting now, yeah, they'd be cute as like stickers days, or something. But shiny yeah. Piplup will have a greatly mm -hmm. increased chance of showing up at your cafe. Use this opportunity to have it join your staff. And for the third event, you can use an 11 times express delivery item at no cost. We'll give you the chance to try out the new delivery feature 11 Did times. Play this? Mention it below. You won't want to miss yeah. this. Yeah. I come up with a lot of second anniversary yeah, like, of the game mm -hmm. approaches games this that... June. Get ready to welcome I mean, tons yeah, if you like the characters, they're cute and easy enough to. Have fun yeah, playing Pokemon Cafe Remix on both Nintendo Switch systems. And that was and a longer update devices. than the one for Go. Yeah. <laughs> Holding a Pokemon game. Pokemon Unite? What's that about? It's a mobile. Since Pokemon like, Unite oh, another launched one. last like July, little. lots of Pokemon have joined the fray. Together with unique Pokemon I like mean, Dragonite, game. Aegislash, my style game. I tried yeah. it once, but... Form a team and battle. I didn't want to pay for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Isn't that always the way? Yeah. Fire yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just not. I mean, it's it's great if you are into the fight and that's kind of like what battles. Pokemon's about, but I like battles. stories. I don't want to just sit there and battle Pokemon. Yeah. You can try out any Pokemon I mean, this is cool in standard like, battles. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's uh, the special I, days posted on the word. official Pokemon saying. Unite website. <laughs> that's it, because I watched those. Furthermore, oh, yeah. there is a Pokemon Day event happening right now in Pokemon Unite. I'm not about teamwork. I'm about The mythical team. Pokemon <laughs> exactly. joins the roster during this Oofa. event. Hoopa can warp ally Pokemon to other locations. Wow. Use blindsiding team tactics to get the drop on the opposing can team. Can you pick where you go, though? Using oh, Hoopa's gosh. Unite move, Turn into Hoopa Unbound and go wild. There you go. While the Pokemon Day event is going on, all players can try out Hoopa. Clear this all special missions. This person's a little missions, bit boring. And you can <laughs> like, yeah. Hoopa's Unite all license. Yeah. They handed her this and said, go read it. <laughs> all players that log in now will receive commemorative Pokemon Day trainer fashion items. Can you actually buy that Use in real life? Use this Pokemon Day yeah. event as a chance to experience the heated battles in Pokemon Unite. And finally, Enjoy a preview of the next Pokemon that is slated to join Pokemon Unite in the future. Please continue to look forward to more content in the future in Pokemon Unite, available on <laughs> Nintendo Switch like, and mobile please devices. Please continue to look forward in the future if you have more content in the future. <laughs> yeah. news about the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and but, Pokemon Shining Pearl <laughs> games. Oh, yeah. I saw there was an update recently, but... Are you opening up the event for Shaman? Officially? People cheated and got there. Oh... Shaman's my favorite. I don't know if you guys have that one. It's like, hey. <laughs> She's got the best cry. She's quiet. You can just catch her, you don't have to fight her or anything. Soon, we'll send out Oak's Letter, an item that will allow you to encounter the mythical Pokemon Shaman within Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. You'll be able to claim this item as a mystery gift later, after this presentation ends. Oh, I'll have to go check. You can add yeah. Shaman to your team and enjoy exploring the Sinnoh region together. Cool. I have heard you can All the gratitude right. Pokemon. Next up, we have some news about the Pokemon Legends Arceus game. Um, it's pronounced Arcus. <laughs> My legs. Oh, there's gonna be spoilers, isn't there? Because yes, I haven't seen all the Pokemon. No. Uh, oh. Okay, some of those I knew. <laughs> some weirdos are gonna run into That's right. If you haven't already, please watch our series yes. of where we're playing through this. Full roleplay. Yeah. 
Uh oh, you better run. <laughs> yeah. Oh, see that? Okay, oh, that's what okay, I yeah, about. all of the alphas. Yeah. They were having an alpha convention. <laughs> Best ways to be an alpha. Yeah, right. So since we haven't finished the game, I'm sure people are like, "Wow, they have a new event with that guy." You know, like, I don't right. know who those yeah, people are. Yeah, no, yeah, it's Dave. Dave. Later nice. today, oh. version one point one point two. Okay. I mean, I'm okay if they wanted to come out with the uh, paid DLC later for yeah. it, but it's nice to give this. A mm -hmm. I saw somebody did an artwork of Palkia, but then like gave him arms too. Oh. <laughs> We are pleased to announce the Daybreak update for Pokemon Legends Arceus, which will be available to players at no cost. You'll begin a new investigation into a curious phenomenon that is causing mass outbreaks of Pokemon across the Hisui region. You'll also be able to engage in new Pokemon battles together with your ally Pokemon at the training grounds. The Daybreak update will be available later, after this presentation ends. Yeah, okay, just a little bonus thing then. Yeah, that's nice. Now yeah, maybe we can find, uh... Gift. We'd like to Alpha offer you some items yeah. that should come in handy on your adventure. Please enter the provided password in your game to claim this gift. We hope you continue to enjoy your adventures in the Hisui region. One more thing. We are pleased One to announce thing. that the production of an online animated series set in the Hisui region has begun. This series will feature an original storyline and is anticipated to launch later in 2022. I'll watch it. Please wait for future announcements to learn more. Yeah. Especially if it had a, a stronger plot yeah, than the other one. We hope you all look forward to how Pokemon games will continue to evolve in the future. Haha, <laughs> evolve. We've shared with you like today the there. latest I information do. about like a variety of our games. <laughs> but to wrap things up, we'd like to end this presentation by sharing one more video. Oh. Thank you for tuning in. Mouse has been in the way the whole time. Oh, is this Detective Chichichit? <laughs> Intective Pichichit number two. Pichichit's my favorite part of the house. <laughs> I, was, I really love when he plays an Intective. <laughs> He's going hard on his wool as well. I know. <laughs> it's messy in there. So what do they keep in this room? Right. Secrets. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it hot still? <gasps> Dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> Reading. Um, um. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, time! <laughs> Are you going back in time again? Ooh. Is it Tarkus? <laughs> He's just hallucinating. Oh. Uh. I bet a lot of people were really surprised. Yeah. I'm also really surprised about what just happened. <laughs> yeah, I was don't, he connected to this? I don't know. Is it, just, is it in someone in the past, or maybe? or it's directly connected to Legends? Mm -hmm. But it wouldn't be considered Gen Nine. <laughs> yeah, that'd be really cool actually to have like a water fountain of a Pokemon like in real world because like yeah. no one would know they're like what mythical creature is that? I would say no one. Like, we don't know Pokemon. It does look very Spain. Mm. Mm. I haven't done a Pokemon in Africa though, have I? Because I've done France. Yeah, I'm just staying in Europe. <laughs> This is yeah, this is a weird framing. Aww. That's my dark. Oh, okay. No way wants that guy. 
tunnel. Actually, I've seen a lot of people like, oh, I love that duck. It's on the first time I'll ever choose water. I'm like, for the back really? guy? For the duck <laughs> man? <laughs> nice. I definitely play Scarlet. I'll take Scarlet. Late 2022? That is fast. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel like it's rushed. You can't milk our coos a bit more? I guess they don't have much planned. You know, it's kind of then you wonder, like, okay, so they gave Diamond and Pearl to another company. I guess it's Terminology is not oh, final. Oh, Patters, he's cool. All right, so that's one moment. Yeah, so I do feel like they're really rushing the next game, but I guess... That's what I was, <laughs> was going to say, is uh, Diamond and Pearl were given to a different company so that they could work on Arceus, mm. but I kind of wonder, were they, like, half working on Arceus, but actually split their development yeah team. I'm like okay so Arceus maybe had been for a few years but then because i'm hoping that scarlet what do we call it sv vs oh yeah what are people calling it we'll have to find out it looks like it's still gonna be open world and i think that's what i also read somewhere that someone mm. said said that it'll be complete open world there's no um barriers between one town and the next you can nice. just kind of go run. there yeah, kinda, you can cool. kind of do that with the camp locations in Arceus, where like yeah you can run from one to the other or yeah, at least right they weren't from the first one to the second. I don't know about the, to the marshes. But anyway. Anyway, so yeah, you were going to say? Yeah. Do you think it's rushing? No, I don't think it's rushing in, in terms of, like, uh, the, the fandom and everyone I know would really want it. Especially because there was mixed reviews with Legends. I've just gotten to say Legends. Because we say Arceus, yeah. but other people, Arceus. Well, the first Arceus. one. So maybe Legends is the... Series. series. I don't know if they'll yes. come out with more, but so which I'm really enjoying that game, but so that's why I feel like that one just released, and they're already releasing like two Pokemon games in one year. That's not like a rehash, you know, like an update, or, like you right. Know, but... Yeah. Well, that, yeah, that's where. But the last gen, mm. and that, that I think that's what's throwing everybody yeah. off. Yeah, is that Generation Eight came out three years ago, two True. three years ago. It took, yeah. it took us that long to beat it, and I'm still right. playing it. <laughs> That's right. So it's kind of yeah. hard to remember. But each generation does come out every two to three years. That's so we're due true. for Gen yeah. 9. But so it's just Legends was a, a trial like to see how it would work, but it was a bonus versus... Right. Yeah, and with yeah. Diamond and Pearl coming out as kind of somewhat lined up with yeah. um, Sword and Shield. You know, mm -hmm. there's always like the, the follow-up ones now. So we're getting into their new rhythm, which is kind of weird. So with yeah. Legends being a completely different sort of series, you know, it's kind of nobody cared when Cafe came out. I mean, not not to say it's True. a bad game, but it's like, right. oh, it's just, yeah, it's not really. That's that one you play, or like mm -hmm. way, way back, the Pokemon Rumble and those other ones on the yes. 3DS. Yeah. Um, that's true. There's always so much content. I guess like that, I'm worried for the workers of the, the turnaround. It's just there's so much. But yeah. with Pokemon, that that is the good thing is that you can never really get too exhausted for Pokemon because there are things that you can do. And yeah. once you've beaten, because like that, I know we're our gameplay is a lot slower than people at home. And it stuff. Does, yeah. So you're probably beating it. Now you're doing the shiny hunting, getting you know your live Pokedex or just just the old fashioned you know, collecting or connecting everything. Yeah. So now that you know, like you said, there might not be a lot of downloadable content for it. So by you know late late 2022 is probably like you think it's like a Christmas release November, or November yeah, yeah. so November probably. so that's perfect for you know buying gifts and stuff like that so I mean yeah True. I just I, I guess like that to me I feel like wow like that's just a yeah. lot of content to continually and so like the PokeTubers I watch they're pretty much done now I think with like let's go Eevee and let's go Pikachu that was a good one for shiny hunting but I think that one's kind of passe um, I'm pretty sure they've all given up on Sword and Shield, too. Mm -hmm. The only reason for us to revisit is to get the shinies um, that they release, or if they have some kind of event going on, yeah. if you want some Gigantamax Pokemon. But I think they're pretty much done with that. Diamond and Pearl fizzled out pretty quickly. Um, it was a remake, and people were like, I hope right. they stay true to it, and then they did. And they're like, they stay too true to it. <laughs> yeah, I remember hearing they, that. They don't like the little chibi guys. I'm like, those, they are, they're fine. It keeps the yeah. same. Anyway, right. so that one was weird. And yeah. so, and that shiny hunting method is cute, but it's frustrating. Mm. So I, I kind of get that. And then, so now with Arceus, and you've got all of the outbreaks, I'm not, this is not a comment on it, but it seems like, I haven't started yet, but it seems like it's way easier to get shinies now. Mm. So you know, It does seem that way from what our friends have been saying. And Yeah, yeah. like three shinies in one horde. And yeah. All that. So it, it's fun. I hope it's active. I haven't actually done it, but I can imagine what mm -hmm. it's like. I mean, just yeah. based on horde hunting. Right, yeah. There's a horde <laughs> and you keep going there until the shiny shows up, I guess. You know? Yeah. Um, so 
I, I hope it doesn't take the magic away. I hope it just makes it more fun that more people can get into shiny hunting. But Maybe. if it's suddenly, and yeah. then now with, cause you could put it, put them in a ho- Pokemon home, right? So now you can essentially share right. your shinies. Well, and with Pokemon Go, you know, you just yeah. keep, you just, you click on them and it'll probably be shiny or it won't be. So shinies have already lost, like way back, they were extremely rare. Yeah. And then, the games themselves started to make it easier with like the shiny charm or different methods, the Masuda method of breeding, mm. that sort of thing made it a little bit easier, but you were still looking at, you know, 400 encounters, a couple thousand encounters. And now right. people are, it's that instant gratification. We're like, yes. I want to show up and have a shiny. So uh, they're still <laughs> cool and they're still special, but what I'd want to see them, if they're going to keep making it easier to get them, mm-hmm. they need to start purposefully designing them. Right. You know, so like yes. if you're going to have, I can't, like let's say there's a zebra and it's usually black and not substrika, but <laughs> it's usually black and white. Well, make the shiny rainbow colored. Not right. just, oh, it's now it's blue yes. stripes. No. Yeah. If you're going to make it stripes. easier to get, make yeah. it look cooler because then they'll be cooler <laughs> to me. have, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. So anyway, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, so yeah, that, yeah I guess that's my point is that yeah. It's going to start fizzling out with Arceus because, right. especially if it is that easy to get shinies, it's just not yes. going to be fun to watch anymore. And so the PokerTubers are really going to need something to do yeah. besides weird challenges. Right. Um, and we, so too. as we were talking about when we when we first saw that or whatever, the um, you're very happy that the grass starter, starter is a cat. cat. <laughs> I'm so happy the grass starter. <laughs> Like, you got me panicked. I was like, what did I say? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I am because, okay, well, water didn't have a cat, but it seems like the grass, except for for Grookey and Chespin, they've been like, and I like mm-hmm. lizards and reptiles, but right. they've all been kind of like, yeah, that you know, weird amphibian. I'm trying to think there's never been a bird. Well, Torchic, but mm. in any of them. That's the only bird, right? I'm missing well, like something. Well, like owl, um, Rowlet's Rowlet. a bird, yeah. I forgot about Rowlet. <laughs> anyway, I, I was just I was pleased to see that I think it's everybody's aesthetic, but aesthetically speaking, yes. I think the grass one is the cutest this time. Oh, Whereas yeah. in the past, I might love Chespin, but everybody really likes um Fennekin. Yeah. You know, or like right. People were kind of leaning towards Sobble just because he was so sad looking. Yeah, you know? yeah, just give him a hug. <laughs> I know when it first came out, everybody really did like Rowlet, and he is yeah. cute. But um, mm-hmm. anyway, I was just pleased. I just it felt fresh to yeah. see that finally, like something mm-hmm. um, not already somewhat nature and grass, like a lizard yes. or a bird, or you know, right? Um, yeah, it was really cool. So, what do you think about the fire starters? I think he's really cool. Yeah, we were talking. He looks like the bubble bubble guy, or like yeah, you know, the, the, the chibi form. Yeah, <laughs> or, or kind of like a, a, a baby. If you've played a Super Mario World Four, where Yoshi's oh, a baby Yoshi, like yeah. it looks like that. So it's really interesting to see if it would be maybe uh, a double. Because obviously it's fire, but like, would it become a dragon, or is it like a dinosaur, or Someone is it going to stay it's lizard, a crocodile, crocodile? Okay, because there is. I did see the Japanese. Um, they had like the description. I think it's oh. been posted now because I was just on okay. my Facebook. Yeah, I mean, I it's going any. fast. Yeah. Definitely something has been updated. There are, I didn't bring my phone, but there are names. Maybe we'll find them right. somewhere. Yes. But there are names for them in English now. Mm. And so somebody did say he's a crocodile. Oh, okay. Which could still be cool. Yeah. I did see other people are saying, like, please let the cat stay on all fours. Yeah. I'm kind of with that. I'm tired yes. of them anthropomorphizing so much. Yeah. Because yeah, they're be not cool to just be... as cute mm-hmm. to me. You know, like. Yeah, you yeah, had to finally have it. your yeah. I don't know. It's because it, to me that also kind of goes in with the Digimon because I was a, I was a huge oh, yeah. Digimon fan. I mean, I still am. I just haven't really done anything with, much with the content. Yeah, but um, so when yeah when they get anthropomorphic. Nice. Humanized, they they kind of tend to look more Digimon to me. So it's like I like them being more like Pokemon. Yeah, and actually thinking back, like they were all anthropomorphized in Sword and Shield. Like yeah. at the end, you know, it's like mm-hmm. they're basically humans. <laughs> yeah, so that's like the strange. Yeah, and then to me now, it feels like that's the easy way out. Like so, okay, now they they look first. They look like a puppy or a kitten or a, a you know a rabbit. And then, and then they grow up and they'll look like a person, you know. Yeah. So it's like, like <laughs> try just, to do just it differently. Make it a person, you know? You know, just yeah, Joe. <laughs> right. But if you stick yeah. with the whole idea that they're a monster, you know, so yeah. develop that, you know, that would be really cool to see, like right. a huge crocodile or this like mm-hmm. massive lion cat, you know, that or has like IV. um, I just forgot. I, I had it, but I forgot. Typhlosion. There you go. Mm. 
he can stand back on his back legs, right. but he still does have his front, like, you know, regular yeah, camera that's paws. Cool. That's yes. kind of cool. And somebody did yes. say maybe the grass kitty will be like a saber-toothed tiger. I don't know. Yes. If it's supposed to be taking place in Spain, um, I think the place to look is what yes. are their myths about? What do they talk about? You know, like... Mm-hmm. Um, Maybe they're known for having saber-toothed tigers or something. I th- yeah, some of the cave paintings, and that was all in France. But that doesn't mean right. that they're really close. So maybe there's something in Spain. Yeah. So that'd be cool. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm looking forward to buying merchandise of the fire and yes, because they would be so cute. They didn't, like, for some reason, I don't know why, but there is no water starter this generation in Gen 9. You mean Donald Duck? Yeah, <laughs> I know, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you like the duck, you're allowed to like the duck. I'll be over here. Pompadour. Titty. Yeah. A little pompaduck or whatever. Yeah. I don't know. He, he's cute. I don't understand why they went with that hat. He kind of looks like a cab driver. Yeah. Maybe he'll be like a bullfighter or without the like that's true. controversial torture right, right, yeah. of an animal. But like but the, the con- contextualization. Yeah, like maybe he'll have his wings and he'll be like, yeah, so he might matador. That's what they're called. Yeah. Maybe he'll look like one of those later on. Right. But right now, I it looks he's cute weird. as a duck. He's reminding a lot of Ducklet. I was like, what's that duck Pokemon? Mm. He looks a little bit to me like Ducklet except with, with a hat on. Yeah. So, uh, ducks are cute, don't get me wrong. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, no, I'm not hating him, it's just, yeah, it's a weird design for, yeah, it's just, it's a little weird, but... When, especially when the other two are so, like, Yeah. I mean, the cat's very simple, and looks very cat, he looks even more cat than, um... Yeah, Litton. Litton, thank you. Yeah. Um, they almost look like, yeah, I wonder if they're related somehow, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't... Yeah, and then, like, there's the whole idea that, like, yeah, it's fine that it's a duck, but then what will it evolve to? Because we, we've we seen that happen with a lot of, like, all the other bird types. That There's only so much you could do with that. So, like, how yeah. will they evolve that to look different than what they've already done? That would be interesting. Maybe they'll all kind of, like, co-evolve, and they can each be, like... Uh, a manticore or a chimera yeah. type where they've got like you know the lion front paws but then the like right oh, like, like they did with up, those yeah. yes <laughs> uh, up, uh, in a sword fossils. and shield yeah, yeah the fossils oh gross <laughs> but in like a, a thoughtful way right. so like yeah. oh you know the cat gets the bird's hind legs but not yeah. that the now the bird has no hind legs but right like, you know, so they're like Whoa. yeah you know, that'd be yeah. funny that'd be, yeah that'd be interesting <laughs> like don't stick to just cat Mix exactly that's um, what yeah mm-hmm but yeah. yeah, I did see another comment was like, oh, look, we've got the cat, you know, the cat and the the, the, uh, the dinosaur, the apple gator, whatever mm-hmm. somebody called him. They look kind of cool, but then the duck just kind of looks like a cartoon character. Like, he does look like, yeah, that's 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 what it is, is. He doesn't really fit the other two. Like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's. Anyway. Interesting, but. Well, that's our chats for that quick direct. Yeah. Um, it was a lot more packed into it than I thought there was going to be. I thought somebody said that they talked about Detective Pikachu, but maybe. That's what I thought it was. Yeah. Maybe. But that's, you know, I don't know if that's being done exactly by Game Freak so, or right. Pokemon Company. Yeah. So maybe that's why it'll be announced mm-hmm. later. Or maybe somebody was hoping for that. But. Yeah. It'll be, or or they saw a glimpse, like if they're just going through and they saw a um, human. So they're like, oh, that must be Detective Pikachu. I thought it was. That's what I, to, that's what I was joking about. Like, yeah. I honestly thought it was because I, I thought we'd heard that. Yeah. So they're not really interested in the, in the lore. Was that just a way to introduce it? Because then they saw the switch and you come back and it's a real switch. And I'm like, what's. Yeah. Happening. I, What's the lore? Now that they're opening everything with legends, I really want to like back, pe- not backpack, but like backpack, backpedal, but like go through, you know, like br- bring the lore of legends through all of the Pokemon series, see if it kind of, you know, connects and like everyone yeah. was doing like the genealogy type of a thing. And yeah. so I don't know, but like that, maybe he was just a creative way to be like, new Pokemon. You know, it was, like it was very strange though because yeah. it looked like a research room. It did, you know, like, yeah, oh, like a professor. Yeah, so it would have been in the past, maybe not as far back as Arceus, but maybe it was mm-hmm. like in the forties. Kind of like, um, what was that? The Disney Pixar with the little merman. Yeah, Luca. Luca. Lu- Lucas. Luca. I think it was Luca. Yeah, where that one, like, it took place mm. in like the fifties or something. So it was right. a little bit in the past. Yeah, you know, they still had electricity and stuff like that. Yeah, so that's what I thought it was. It could, yes, but right. Yeah, that was weird. I Maybe they've done weird. it every time, and I just don't remember that. So oh, it's always Maybe. that explorer yeah. guy. Just, you're like, <laughs> the guard just <laughs> finds weird stuff. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really watch Pokemon Direct until like this, like the Switch came around. Then that's yeah. when I really started watching their stuff. So. Yeah, and I don't know when they actually started. Like I'm, yeah. I've only really vaguely been aware, and I, I don't like. 
spoilers. Yeah. If I can help it. Like, it's fine to know, like, what's the setting or, like, the starters. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if I'm, like, I, I'm still trying to get some things not spoiled for me. Yeah. I just had a major spoiler in Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah. So I'm not going to talk about that, but... <laughs> So I know I'm late to play some of these games, but I like to not, you know. Yeah, no, so. definitely. Yeah, so, so anyway, so I don't go I mean, looking this, for that stuff. Yeah, this is exciting, and I'm gonna yeah. be. I'm excited to see more things come out. Maybe it's not spoilers if we're up on it, you know. Yeah, <laughs> so. yeah right. Yeah. Um, I was thinking maybe when we we can discuss like what we do for a Scarlet and Violet playthrough. Yeah. Um, I wonder if it'd be kind of interesting to do. Um, we could even try like a Soul Link. I don't know how we'd record it. Yeah. But that's where it's like a, it's like a nuzlocke but then like we each all our guys are tied together so if yours dies oh, mine dies whoa i don't know if you're up to you know i don't know you'd have to like I'd have to practice i don't yes <laughs> maybe wheels but i am i am playing my shiny playthroughs yes. so i'll Watch i'll know too. how um we have to see our little yes. nameless dudes evolve and they they will be named yes. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us. I hope you're excited. Please let me you know or me. Yeah, just me. Don't tell her yeah. what you're excited about in Gen Nine, yes, or are you excited you for start with? some of the other yeah. um, games that we're? I mean, let's, let's face it. Like the RCS stuff is good, but everybody's really just gonna be talking about Gen Nine. So yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but we will pick this up after the drop. Okay.